What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, welcome to another unboxing video. Wine series edition, cheers. In this video, I'm really excited about this, we're gonna be unboxing the 2017 July Smuggler's Bounty Box. This is the Star Wars Funko collab box. Do you guys think the pin stayed in its package? What do you think? Um, I believe the theme to this month was droids. I'm very excited about that. If you're interested in getting this box, I'm gonna put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. All right, let's check it out. All right, the pin that we got is this. This is a battle droid pin. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Eh, not my favorite droid, of course. The patch that we got is, it has, it's mainly of C-3PO, but there's also a little R2-D2 right here. I do like the gold of him. It pops really well off this patch. All right, and then let's go ahead and open this box up and see what's inside. There's a sneak peek. That wasn't a very good sneak peek, sorry. We're gonna save the shirt for last. Oh! <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, okay. Let me do this one first because it's not as cool as the other one in my opinion. So the first item that we have, I don't understand Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal, but the box is a little bit dented. Not a big deal. Okay, the first fungal puff that we have is of R5-D4. This was one of the droids that Luke was potentially going to get, but it was like malfunction. It didn't work, and so he ended up getting R2-D2, I believe. This is a cool little pop. I do enjoy the design of him. There's what he looks like on the side. And this is, of course, a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. I don't want to show you the back because uh, it's it shows the other pop that we got, so I can't wait to show you this one. I'm really excited. So this one's cool, but I like this one even better. OMG, look at this. And this one came in much better condition. The other one's in good condition, but the box was a little bit dented. This is a Funko Pop of C-3PO, but he's unfinished. OMG, look at that. Now, one of the things that would have been cool, and it it's not feasible for Funko Pops because they don't normally do this, is to actually have each, like one of his wires a different color because it, it is, uh, they painted all the different wires on him and the paint job's not the best because a lot of these little lines are pretty thin. So the paint definitely kind of went off of the lines. So if it had been, Molded in different colors, which again is not feasible for Funko Pops, but this one's really cool. This is what the cartoony version of him looks like. And then you have the two right there on the back, the set of these. Again, this is a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. I really do enjoy him though. As long as you're not staring at him super closely um, and seeing kind of the shoddy paint job, because the paint job's not that great. I love the actual, like, the design of this. So I guess the the design is good. The execution's a little bit off, a little bit, I will say. Um, but yeah, that is an awesome Funko Pop. I'm very excited about that one. I'm excited to add that to my Star Wars collection. All right, and then the last time we have is our shirts. Um, this is a Pop Tee, and in Pop Tees, for all of the Funko collab boxes, I am under a small because the Pop Tees fit really big. So the smalls are still a little bit on the smaller side, but they aren't as big as the mediums, which feel like a large. So we got a Pop Tee, it's a men's small, and it's black. How is the design? <gasps> ooh, 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 I love it. Okay, so we have RTD2 and BB8, and it's pop version of BB8, so his head, his head is a teeny bit square, and they are both reflecting the map to show where Luke Skywalker is. That is so cool. I like this shirt a lot. This is probably one of my most favorite pop tees that's come in the Smuggler's Bounty box, so 
I like that a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, that's all the items in the box. Let's go and do some pricing and recap. Pretty straightforward with my pricing. I think these pops are gonna go online for a little bit more than I'm gonna give them, but I'm gonna give each of those pops $15 because they're exclusive. I'm gonna give this shirt $10. I really like this shirt. I'm gonna give this patch $3, and I'm gonna give the pin $4. And that is all the items in the box. So according to my pricing, this box is worth $47. We paid $32 a month. So we got $15 extra value on top of what we paid for it. Here's the funny thing is that this actually isn't that much value compared to the, the Funko collab boxes normally. There's usually probably one more item in the box that gives it a little bit more value. But... Even though this box only got $15 extra value, we're only looking for about $10, so I actually am I'm happy with it. I'm totally good. But the thing I like about it is that I love all the items in the box. The patch and pin are always kind of whatever, but I love the shirt and I love the two Funko Pops. So for me, this box is totally worth it. And like I said, those Funko Pops are probably going to go on sale for at least, I would say at least $15 to $20. I priced them at $15, but that's the lower end of what they're probably going to go for online. But I'm very happy with this box. I'm assuming it's because I like the theme of droids. But yeah, I haven't been this excited about a Smuggler's Bounty box in a while, I feel like. So I am totally a fan. And I'm actually really excited to see what they're going to do as the, the new movie starts creeping a little bit closer. What is that? In December, I think, is the release. So I feel like they'll start having themes that kind of correlate to that release, and that's going to be exciting, too. All in all, I'm very happy with it. Um, if I had to rate it, I'd give it a 5 out of 5 noobs because I really like the items. I think if you were not as biased as me, then maybe a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. I think they could have given us one more item. Again, we're only looking for about $10 extra value. We've got 15 so that's good. But this box normally gets way more extra value so it is a little bit low this time around but yeah I'm totally happy with this box so I'm gonna give it a five out of five noobs all right guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video feel free to click the like button below if you want to see more unboxing videos go and check out my channel make sure you subscribe I'm trying to hit 40,000 subscribers right now so if you could help me out that would be great let me know down below what you guys thought about this box. Again, I'm biased because I really like it showcased a lot of the characters I like. I really enjoy the Funko Pop designs. More so the C-3PO, but I do like the R5-D4. Oh my god, somebody just shot off a firework and it scared me. Oh, that was scary. Um, but yeah, I am totally a fan. I love this shirt. I haven't liked this shirt this much in a while. I love this shirt a lot. But let me know what you guys thought down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which may or may not be coming up shortly. It just depends on if I have any more. So just be on the lookout for that. And before I go, it's time to do the video shout out. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to look at my very first Smuggler's Bounty box, which was November 2015. That was such a long time ago. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to pick somebody who commented on that video, who probably still doesn't watch, but whatever. We'll just pick somebody. All right. Today's video shout out goes to Cruz de Madeira. Cruz de Madeira, you commented on my very first Smuggler's Bounty box a year ago. So I have a feeling that you might not actually be like current. It just depends. I haven't seen your name pop up in a while. But uh, Cruz, thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. I appreciate the support. Now I feel bad because that is kind of an old comment. So maybe I should pick somebody as well as Cruz. I'll pick somebody kind of newer, but not somebody who's a troll. Erica Wilhelm. Erica Wilhelm, you also get the video shout out because you just commented on my video yesterday. So Erica, thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. I appreciate it. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.